Hey, welcome back. This is the second part of my lighting tutorial that I'm doing. Um, if you didn't see the first part, it's over here. Production design is far more important than your lighting. Both go hand in hand, but if your production design is terrible and your lighting's great, it's not gonna do much for you. But if your lighting isn't the best, but your production design is incredible, it's gonna do wonders uh, for your film. So I did a lighting setup in my basement uh, it's an unfinished basement. I had some bookshelves down there. I kind of set up this little scene uh, just to kind of give you an idea of the exact same lighting that I did in the last video um, in a completely different location. So this is the lighting setup from the old one. Again, I had the overhead light, um, a side light, and a backlight. Uh, you can check out all the details about that in the last video. So here we have it, and it looks kind of bland. And now the big thing I wanted to do is compare the two. So if we look at my new setup, same lighting setup. Now the space was a little more tight, so I wasn't able to get quite as wide as the other one. Because the space was a little more condensed, the light was bouncing around the room a lot more, which, uh, as you can see here, fills in the side of my face a lot more uh, than the one in the darker room. Huh, I was wearing the same shirt, that's funny. <laughs> I, I did that on purpose. I knew I was. Anyway, then I turned off the backlight. There it is. Uh, and then I just did the side light. And this, which is interesting, in this scenario, I felt like the side light looked a little less lit because of the bounce I was getting off the wall next to me. And then this is just the top light, top light with no backlight. So then what I did was I decided, okay, Let's take this to another level. Like all I did was kind of set up a table, a chair, and threw it in front. Why don't I kind of design this a little better? Like let's clean up the background. Let's get rid of a lot of the stuff back there. So then I ended up from this to this. And so what I did was I just kind of put some display pens in the back here. Uh, I cleaned up the bookshelves so they looked a little more organized and nicer. And then you can see me in the scene here compared to the other scene, you know, it's, it's fairly different. And then I took it one step further and I actually added a light. Using lights in your scene, like practical lights in your scene, enhances your scene so much. So if you take a look at this one, without the light, with the light, it's actually, the light is filling in the background quite a bit more, it's filling in a little bit of my face, and it also makes the scene feel a little more natural as far as the lighting goes. Because then it, it doesn't feel quite as lit. It feels like, oh, hey, there's a light source. Here's where everything's coming from, which is really nice. And so then what I did was I turned off the top light and just used the side light. And you can see it actually, it doesn't really look what I would call lit like it did before. I had the celeb. And so what I decided to do was take the color temperature all the way down to 2800 and give it a very warm look, but I still kept my camera at 3200. And you can see here, the, the difference between the two is pretty awesome. My skin tones feel like it fits the environment better. There's a lot of this like brown wood in the background. Uh, the lampshade I was using was very tan tint to it that was causing a cast that way. So matching your light to match your practical is also really important. And then I switched the light to the other side just to try it out. Now this, is, this was something I really wanted to point out. So I had the practical on frame left, and then I had my main source light on frame right. And this to me is another thing that I did as a beginning filmmaker, was I would, I would just like, oh, I'll just light it from this side because it looks better, not taking into account where my practicals were. And when you actually take into account where the practicals are, it makes it look much more natural. So if we look at this one, which I believe is just the top light. Yeah, it's just the top top light. This one looks far more natural because look at the side of my face here. It's all lit up on the left side and it looks like it's all coming from that light, giving nice shadow on the other side of the face. Production design is going to sell your piece better than anything else, uh, better than any camera you use, better than any lights you use, honestly. Uh, I put huge emphasis in production design. Because what's in front of the camera is what people are seeing. If, you're, if your sensor isn't getting 15 stops at dynamic range or isn't the best in low light or, or whatever it may be, like if your production design is awesome and you have enough light to make the scene look decent, 
it's going to do wonders than having all the lights in the world and having crappy production design. Uh, it's just not going to sell your scene. And again, I'll, I'll take you back to my original setup. You know, if I was going for a very period piece with this versus, you know, me in actual costume in front of a, a full on what looks like sort of a library, a home library or something. Big difference. Or you could throw yourself in a chicken suit and uh, do that too. It gives you a completely different scene. Um, but you know, it's whatever you feel in your heart. Whatever you feel is right. Anyway, I really hope that was helpful. It was really fun for me to just go and, and set up some lights again down in, you know, just for, for funsy down in my basement. Uh, kind of work on some lighting, got to tweak a bunch of stuff, play with it. It was really, really fun. So if you liked the video, please subscribe. I got more videos like this coming. And uh, again, thanks for watching.